Divine health and divine healing belongs to every child of God. Sicknesses and diseases are not God's plan for our lives, but you have to take it boldly by the force of faith. Matthew eleven twelve, Jesus speaking says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. So you have to take your healing by the violent force of faith in prayer, praises, fastings, and most important of all, the word of God. You know, I recently read of an army commander during World War I who made every man under his authority memorize the 91st Psalm. It didn't matter whether you believed it or not. You had to memorize it so that when he called on you for a particular verse, you could say it perfectly on the spot. Yes, sir, Psalm 91, verse 7, sir. A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, sir. But do you know that during that war, that infantry had no casualties, and anyone that was wounded got healed. The secret? The word of God has supernatural power to protect us and to heal us. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So when you spend quality time meditating in the word of God, spending time in his presence, under his shadow, healing comes. I know that firsthand. I was healed of chronic asthma. I had it for over a decade. But after I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I started feeding on the word. Honey, I don't meditate the word. I feed on it day and night. You hear me? Hello? <laughs> Now I can breathe on my own. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Then spend quality time meditating in his word, the Bible. The Psalms is a great place to start. The Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of God, will come to teach you and to heal you as you spend time meditating with a sincere heart of faith. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice in need of healing, let your healing power flow through them now. In the name of Jesus, let your restoration power start in their lives now. In the name of Jesus, I curse every sickness and disease in your bodies. I command every chain of sickness holding you bound to be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Say with me, I receive it. And in the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in your life. I love you. God bless you. I'm Hazel. I'll see you next time.